What is good, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. The crazy Griffin story does continue. If you guys have not seen our videos on this, only a couple out there. Um, as well, on top of that, though, final updates and not probably going to be final, though, in this crazy firestorm of a story. That's going to be Riot Korea now involved alongside Still 8, the parent company of Griffin. Griffin, by the way, in the LCK for League of Legends, is in big trouble around the player involvement of their former coach, that being CV Max, and their former player, that being Kanavi. Several wrongdoings around them but Riot Korea has now stepped in yet again, placing some harsh punishments on two of those figures. Former director and manager, that's going to be, uh, we'll name him as Cho. He has been given an indefinite suspension from all of Riot Games esports, not just League of Legends, all of Riot Games and their esports out there. Alongside him, their former coach, CV Max, has also been indefinitely suspended. By the way, he is the current head coach for Dragon X, so it does spell trouble for another Korean team out there. And very lastly, Griffin themselves have now been given a fine of 1 million Korean won. By the way, that is around $85,000. Ironically enough, let's twist this a little bit to have some happy news out there, some laughable news. This this small fine for, by the way, which could be some very serious allegations, they fine Griffin $85,000. Cloud9, by the way, some, I would say, some much more innocent wrongdoings over there. They could be paying over $800,000 in total with what we're going to talk about probably sometime later on. So, Riot Korea now stepping in again, guys, and facing off against some harsh punishments of the those two members alongside Griffin and the reasons as to why uh, they might not surprise you if you know the story but still these suspensions need to be talked about because this could be wrongdoing on Riot's part as well let's hop into first of all director Cho why he was banned uh, you know we already knew the kind of the reasons around this several wrongdoings around their former player Kanavi they have not actually confirmed those allegations but they did bring up those allegations of his threatening crimes alongside that as management a director of Griffin as well he failed to actually protect his players and a clause in the contract for Kanavi Navi also was not in his best interest as well and failed to meet those interests. And so, yes, they will be placing an indefinite suspension on that director show. On top of that, when it came time for CV Max, some very interesting stuff came out about him. And this is based off Riot Korea investigation of both players and management. And all there's tons of rumors out there as to who exactly they actually did interview for these allegations. They have now alleged CV Max of both physical and verbal violence towards players. Although CV Max has already responded about this with apparently evidence and recorded phone calls of maybe that not being the case. And so, yes, they will indefinitely suspend CV Max, who, by the way, was removed from Griffin, found a new job at Dragon X, a heck of a job himself, and now will be suspended from all of Riot Games, all of League of Legends, and the LCK, and any other esports out there for right now that are ran by Riot. He will be indefinitely suspended, which, by the way, is no marked amount of time. It could be for life if this does somehow uphold. And again, CV Max is already taking to stream, to Reddit as well. A lot of people out there in defense of CV Max, who, by the way, whistle blew on all of this. He was the main reason why all this came to fruition in the first place, and there has been wrongdoings found Griffin and how they handled the Kanavi case, and now somehow Riot Korea steps in and says, yes, we're going to punish Griffin, but we're also going to punish the person who brought all of this to light. And that's where the frustration does come, and that's where it really kind of comes a question of, of common sense. How is this possible? And a quick note to everyone involved, whether it's Riot Korea staff, whether it's uh, former players as well, because former players have also come out against CV Max and they've also been denied and actually been told uh, by other sources that they were lying about this. If you're a player or a staff member, please just tell the truth. If you are found to be lying in this case, this is now a gigantic case, not only across all the LCK, but across all of Riot and League of Legends. This case is becoming more and more well known and more and more digested across the entire world, especially if you are a player formerly or currently on Griffin and you are lying about CV Max allegations, which he can prove wrong, you are going to be in swift trouble. I highly recommend you come out and just tell the truth. The very last thing for all of you guys, even the senator, the same senator, actually there were a couple that came out in this case, initially broke last month. The same one, Tae Kyung, I do apologize for mispronounce that. He's come out furtherly in CV Max's defense and also talking about how Riot staff members or Riot Korea, they could be facing sentencing or jail time for actually failing to protect the whistleblower of, of course through the whistleblower protection bill, which would protect a guy 
guy like Stevie Max, who whistle blew and actually told everyone about these wrongdoings undergoing in Griffin, and now he's somehow being punished for that. And so apparently, according to a senator in China, it could be Riot that could be in very big trouble about this. The former Griffin director, that being show, he has been suspended indefinitely. Alongside that former coach, Stevie Max, he has been suspended as well. Griffin's been fined $85,000. We have Still 8, the parent company of Griffin. They now have also made their statements. Very lastly, guys, and they will be possibly pursuing legally CV Max for all of his wrongdoings and misconduct, causing them serious damage. As yes, we are all well aware what he did, what he unveiled about what you guys might be doing. It did cause you damages, and those damages that did cause, it might be rightfully so. A senator has now stepped in on top of this, guys, and saying, very lastly, Riot Korea could be in trouble for now punishing CV Max, who unveiled all these troubles inside the organization of Griffin. This story is blowing up. It deserves more public eyes on it because there are so many lies and, and allegations and accusations and so many wrongdoings going on throughout these four or five different parties now being involved and it continues to be all the more crazy. I will keep you all posted on updates on the story sometime very soon. Until next time, I hope you guys all enjoy. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you all back here sometime soon.